one thing that I know I'm gonna need is stuff to put on the walls. Um, we're gonna paint it and all that stuff, but uh, I'm gonna need pictures, paintings, things like that to spice the place up. Now, I have a ton of paintings and prints and things like that that I've collected over the years of going to tattoo conventions and friends of mine. And I've never got them framed because in living in New York, I just don't have the space and it's not like I could hang them on the wall anyway. I have a ton of these uh, tubes that I have, like these ones here. Uh, with different paintings and prints all rolled up in them. I probably about four or five and plus some others just stored around. And uh, so I have to get those framed. Now I know framing costs a pretty penny in New York anyway. I'm not sure what it's going to cost here. And I have no idea where to find a framer. Um, Google will be my friend. So some good news, I found a framer and it's actually right down the street from me. So I'm going to take these tubes, head over there, and uh, let's get these bad boys framed. I have a couple paintings that I found downstairs that are already stretched and wrapped on canvas or on boards and stuff, so I'm gonna bring those in as well. Um, overall, I think I probably have like 15 or so things to get framed, so this could be pricey. I'm thinking a couple grand, which is gonna suck, but it'll make them look good. I'm at the frame store to get a painting frame for the shop, so uh, let's go inside and work out a deal. Do you have like, kind of like the frame that you'd use for that one, but like thicker, that would stick out farther, or no? You want black, no? Yeah, black, preferably. <laughs> this is the best that I can do. That's too big. Yeah, if you have enough, I like this one. This will be 40, and this will be 45. Okay. I just got a call from the framers and my paintings are now done. They're all framed and ready to be picked up. The total for everything, which was somewhere around 15 different paint paintings and stuff, when you'll see them, I'm going to show you some of them when they're done, uh, $800. So it cost me 800 bucks to get everything framed. A couple of those were I'm going to keep at home, but uh, yeah, so all in all, that's a pretty awesome deal. I'm pretty excited about that. So let's go get the paintings. So it's been a long night. I got all the paintings. Um, it's going to be a while before I can put them in the shop, probably like a month or two, so I don't even have a shop. So I decided to hang them all up around my house. I mean, they look awesome. So they're all hanging up. And I'm going to give you a quick tour of all the paintings that they got framed so you can see what's up. Concert poster from the very first concert I ever went to. It's a really old school Dan Marshall painting. There's a charcoal print from a friend of mine back in New York. There's another painting. From Dan Ashford. Oh, there we go. Put it that way. Let's see. And then I got this one down there. It's from Adam Chiodo. Little the painting. Check it out. I wasn't sure where to hang those up, so they're still down there. These two. This is a high on fire print for a show in New York at Gramercy Theater. Uh, this is a gorilla, gra gorilla glass uh, print from APP. This is an I Hate God poster from a show in New York that I had. It's pretty awesome. Here's another uh, painting from Dan Marshall. And I got a couple here. This is a Contra painting. Um, I actually did this one. This is my only painting that I've ever done. <laughs> uh, and then I have these here. That one. This is Ryan Hadley. Got that at a, I think, Hell City. This is a painting from Jeremiah Barba. And then I got a couple more here. This is from Dennis Pace out of Kentucky. Paint, another painting from Dan Marshall. Uh, this is a painting from Jeremiah. This one I've had, so I did not get that one. These two, it's another high end fire print from a show in New York. And this is another Gorilla Glass print that Jason did for APTPI in Milan. This was the first one he did. It's pretty awesome. I got this little one, Kaiju Big Battle. If you don't know what Kaiju Big Battle is, you should look it up. It's freaking awesome. And then again, another high end fire. This one, there's kind of glare on the glass, but this is from the London Tattoo Convention. It was a poster from, from the show. Uh, it was done by Shige, so it's a really cool, really cool print that I got. Uh, this is my biggest one. It's, I got this actually from a tattoo artist in Bangkok on the streets in Thailand. It's freaking huge. It's oil on canvas, so they stretched it and framed it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, those two I already had. This one is from tattoo artist out of New York, Shay Hefted. 
Uh, he did this one for me as a present. This one's on board, so it's really heavy and framed. All the frames are all wood, too. So I got 17 things framed in total. Uh, a few of them had to be stretched and mounted because they were canvas. They were just rolled up. All for around $800. I think it's an amazing deal. And uh, I'm excited. They look great in my house, but I really want to get them in the shop. Tattoo shop. That's the end goal.